it's MacLover65 and I'm going to be doing the 7 Deadly Sins tag and I have not been tagged in this, at least I don't think I have, but it looked like just a super fun tag that I really really wanted to do so I love tags so I was going to go ahead and do it and I've also changed my background um, I'm probably going to be filming the majority of my videos behind this like little curtain thing, yeah. And the yeah. only time I won't is probably when I do, um, like, looks or if I do, um, well, that's about it. About looks, yeah. So thank you guys so much for watching and thank you for your input about the background. I really appreciate it and let's get on to the so video. The first question is greed. And what is your most inexpensive item? My most inexpensive item is my Wet n Wild Mega Sparkles Party Confetti Just Like Sparkle stuff as you can see. Um, I got this on sale. Take an extra 50% off and it was on sale. Dropped it. But it was actually, it was, I think I remember paying like 50 cents for it. I know it's like $3 but then I had a, another sale and then it was 50% off of that. So I think I got this for 50 cents. Most inexpensive item. And then my most expensive item has to be my Chanel little quad of eyeshadows. And it looks like this. And I love their eyeshadows. And they're so amazing and just gorgeous. But, I mean, this was like $54 for four eyeshadows. So it was very expensive. And that, I think, is my most expensive one, I want to say. But that's what, like, came to the top of my head when I was thinking that. Uh, Wrath. What beauty product do you have a love-hate relationship with? That would definitely have to be cheek stains. I love cheek stains during the summertime. I think they're gorgeous and they help... Your blush lasts so much longer, but during the winter time, they just drive me insane. Um, and then sometimes during the summertime, they don't like, they're just too streaky and they just don't look right, so then I hate them and I, I hate them on my lips, but I love them during the summertime. I mean, it's a love hate relationship, it truly is. Um, what beauty product was the hardest to get? That would definitely have to be my Naked palette. Number one, I had no problem getting the Naked 2 palette easy thing to get but it took me forever to get the naked palette I searched high and low for this and actually I stumbled upon it on accident went into it Sephora was looking for half baked eyeshadow because I loved it it was a gold color and Lee's like well why don't you just get this this is the last one I turned around and she was holding this and I pretty much like bombarded her for it and she's just like well you can have it I'm like I know but I've been looking everywhere for it and just so excited. I got really excited about it. I was obsessed with it. I still am. I love this palette. So, to be honest, I like this one better than the second one. Just throwing that out there, but you know. Um, let's see here. Gluttony. What products are the most delicious products? Okay, just saying, I don't eat my makeup. That's gross. Makeup's not to be eaten. It's probably might be poison. Or something like that. I heard on the news that like NARS had like iron or something in it. It was really bad. My mom told me about it. And like their lipsticks. Lead. That's what it was. NARS had like lead in their lipsticks or something. That's what the news said. Um, but definitely I'd have to say the best smelling products I have are my Lush bubble bars. I love Lush and I love their bubble bars. And this one is my favorite. It's like the little magic mushroom I think it's called. It looks like this. And oh my gosh, it smells so good. It is like amazing. It's so sweet. It smells like cotton candy, and I love cotton candy. It just smells so, so good. And you can't get them anymore. I wish you could. Maybe I can find them somewhere. But I totally love them. I have two, and I've just like, I just like keep them and smell them. But that's weird. But it smells so good. Oh my gosh, I love that. And let's see here. Sloth, what products do you neglect due to laziness? I would have to say fake eyelashes and lip liner. Some days I'm good about lining my lips. I usually line my lips in the morning and then I just neglect it all throughout the day because I'm lazy. And it seems like that with lipstick too. Very, like, rarely if I have to dig through my purse to find it, then I'll just usually grab a lip balm and, like, the front of my purse because I get lazy. But definitely like, with fake eyelashes, I love to wear them and I think they're gorgeous and I've really started getting into wearing them on a regular basis, but if I have to like take a very long time in the morning, I get lazy. And I really don't neglect anything else. I physically do like my whole face every single morning, but yeah. Um, number five, pride. What beauty products gives you the most self-confidence? I would definitely have to say a good quality foundation that just makes your skin just glow and is radiant and just makes you feel just 
gorgeous. I know that with the teenagers, sometimes you can have acne prone skin. I really try to pride myself in having very clean and clear skin. So for the majority of the time, my skin is just always just, I wouldn't say perfect, but no acne marks, nothing like that. So I just love a foundation that just gives you that healthy glow because like on days that are just kind of just blah and just uh, outside, it really makes me happy and just like looking in the mirror or just someone complimenting you on how like glowing your skin looks is just like the biggest like confidence boost I think anyone can get. So like I love doing that and I love taking um, fun fact for you guys and maybe you guys should start doing this. I carry um, a notepad in my purse and like a, a post-it note and Everywhere I go, I will write, you're beautiful, on a post-it note, and I will stick it to a bathroom mirror or some type of mirror, and that way the next person that comes in will have a self-confidence boost, hopefully, and reminding them that they're beautiful no matter what. So I started doing that probably about like two years ago, and it just always makes me feel good, and I'm glad that I can usually put a smile on someone's face, hopefully. I don't know. Um, let's see here. Lust. What attributes do you find most attractive about the opposite sex? I don't know how that's beauty related, and I'm not going to ask, but um, I will admit it that I am a bit shallow when it comes to guys, just a little bit. Like everyone, well, I think everyone gets mostly attracted by looks. Like you first see the person, you may have never met them, but you go, oh, I think he's cute. And that's how I am. And I was very, very, don't, you don't like that. That's weird. Don't like that. My dog is licking the cheek stain. Like, when I met my boyfriend, he, I think he's very attractive. That's just personally me, but. Jocks, and I like guys that, um are attractive and that are sports oriented like they do something in sports and I like like the kind of like the captain of like the baseball team or football team kind of thing and um, I love like if they're smart and if they have a great personality and so I'm just I'm just weird like that and with my boyfriend I was very lucky because he is very attractive, I think, and he's so sweet and so kind and so generous and so thoughtful. And I have to say, like, if I meet, get to know them better and find out that their just personality sucks and they're just mean, looks don't matter anymore. They will be bye-bye very fast. So, but with my boyfriend, I was very lucky. He's so sweet and he's so kind and thoughtful and loving and caring. And he's captain of the baseball team and he's a pitcher and he's athletic and he's good looking, I think. And so I got really lucky when I met my boyfriend. So, but yeah, I'm a little shallow when it comes to guys, just for a little bit until I get to know them. Then that goes out. What products would you most likely to receive as a gift? I'd probably say lipstick or lip gloss. I love getting lip products, so that would be the gift that I would love to receive the most. So that was my 7 Deli Sins tag. I will have like a little blurb of who I tag, and I also tag everyone that's watching. If you have done this tag or are going to do the tag, please leave it as a video response below. I love watching tag videos. You have no idea. I love to watch it. So yeah. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Please like the video. Please subscribe and leave a comment below. The questions will be in the down bar below. Also, go follow me on Twitter and have a fantabulous day, guys, and I will see you guys later. Bye, guys.